Good morning and welcome to Stardew Valley 1.6. I'm going to skip the intro and I'm going to get through this uh, setup as quickly as I can. I just want to explain what I'm going to be doing. My normal playthroughs are episodic, you know, one day equals one episode. For the 1.6, I'm going to be probably um, recording more than one day at a time and just editing out some of the more time-consuming things and mentioning what I see that's new as I see it. Already I see there might be a couple of new animal types. Um, got a dog with a bandana and uh, another new kind of dog. I think I'm gonna pick this one. I'll be choosing the new farm, the Meadowlands farm. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. Okay. Just gonna call it Meadowlands Farm to make things easy. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, already the uh, interior is kind of cozy. Um, just gonna move my bed to over here and move the TV. Oh, let me open up the package first. Okay, so first change, we get hay instead of seeds. So that probably changes our getting started. Yeah, harvest an egg from your chickens. Okay, and introductions. Of course, uh, Robin and Lewis are already considered met. Yeah, I'll put it there so I can still get past. Okay, and this is our new farm. Okay. Um, so already, because of the um, getting the sea, uh, getting hay instead of seeds, I want to make sure we go to Pierre's today because I do want to make sure I get some crops in the ground. So we've got like a crop area and a grassy area, and then another crop-like area, a pond, and there's the exit. Okay, um... Just gonna clear a few little rocks and trees and stuff. I don't want to get too carried away. Of course I'm gonna hope for mixed seeds. But I do want to clear the the egress from both north and south of the farm. Uh, as much as I can, just kind of make a straight line. Okay, what have we got over here on this side? Quite a few little ponds. Looks like we've got a river here. Okay, I kind of like this.
wonder if any of these are bridges. No. No. Can we get to the upper part of the farm from here? I mean, that would be nice. Yeah, not until we upgrade our, our axe quite a bit, though. Um, wait, is that copper? Or it might just be copper that we need for that. Get this tree down just so that we remember that this uh, bridge is here. Here's our greenhouse. So, oh, okay. I was gonna say, where is our chicken coop? But I think I see it coming into view. Don't see a gate yet. Here we are. Clean this a little bit. I want my chickens to have room. throw some hay in here so that uh, if it rains, I don't forget that you don't have food. Okay, so I can tell already that I'm going to be expanding this uh, area as soon as possible. I like these waterfalls. Yeah, I want these guys to have a little more room than this. So, I'll be... I'll be probably expanding all the way down here for those guys. Um, how much wood do I have? Almost enough to make a chest. Oops. Let me get rid of this one tree. 3 p.m. You know what? <laughs> I better get going. that allowed me to drop those stones. Okay. The hay, the wood, the fiber, the coal in here. And let's see if I can make... Okay, paths. Okay, I can't make any fertilizer yet. Alright, 3.30, let's run into town. No forageables at the bus stop. So, uh, one thing I did learn before even playing this is that uh, tea saplings have been nerfed. I don't know by how much. So we meet Harvey and now Vincent. But I may... Uh, just out of curiosity, try and befriend Caroline 
as we meet Evelyn and see if, uh, just to see out of curiosity how much they've been nerfed. Okay, Penny and Maru. There's Alex. And let me run into Pierre as quickly before he closes. All right, what do I want here? Definitely want a bean, two cauliflower, just one parsnip for now. I, I do want to eventually do the five gold quality parsnips because I think those are easiest for the community center. Not until I get fertilizer. Okay, so I'm going to buy some potato seeds. Wow, that's not much. Oh, let me see if there's anything new here. Dehydrator. Is that new? I don't remember ever seeing that before. Okay, everything else looks the same. Okay, all right. Um, let's say hi to Leah. Let's see if we can catch Caroline. And here comes Abigail. And I'll say hi to Pierre. I saw her, right? Okay, let's see if we can say hi to George. I think I saw, yeah, there's Shane. Here's Elliot. Now I'm gonna run down to the beach and see if there's anything to forage. It looks like the artifact spots look slightly different now. Uh, if I want to get that artifact spot, let me see if it'll just uh, fall on the ground. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That looks different. Okay. Let's... Alright, let's run home dump some of this stuff off in the shipping bin or the or the chest and then we're going to run back down to the beach and see what that thing is but before i do that i'm going to plant my seeds okay we'll get rid of that funny i didn't see any forage today Okay, so wooden sap makes torches. Alright, if I hold this torch, yeah, it gives us some light. Alright, I want to do a better job of uh, clearing this path. Oh. So I can find my way out of my farm. Okay. Now I want to do some foraging.
All right, let me run down to the beach real quick. I'll grab this. Carrot seeds. Cool. Uh, plant in spring takes three days to grow. Okay, cool. I like that. Let me see if we can get back to our farm before we pass out. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to reach level one foraging today. We just didn't see much forage. Oh. Okay, well, we are off to a great start if I'm going to pass out first day. Look at that, right in front of the door. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got a hundred gold for those uh, clams. And we only lost six gold. Whoops. Um, let's see. We'll check the weather report. Should be raining tomorrow yep and fortune teller says spirits feel neutral today okay and this should be our letter from oh this is Pierre okay about our backpack and is this Willie nope oh, okay this is dr. Harvey he built us six gold and Willie wants us to come down to the beach sometime. We will do that. Okay, let me grab these out of here. I'm gonna plant these carrot seeds. Okay. For some reason, I thought we had three. Okay. Get rid of this. Then we'll water and work our way down to see Willie. up a little bit through here. get rid of this tree. And let me just make sure, yeah, they're eating the, the grass. I do want to take a chest down to see Willie, but I also want to clear this from the south. There we go. So I have a better idea of where I'm going. Just so I can get straight up when I come home. Trying not to use too much energy.
I really like this farm. I know we haven't... Oh. <laughs> Taken much time to uh, explore it. But so far, I really like it. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to... find a way to get some food. Uh, you know what? I won't plant those others because I don't think I can even water them. Okay, let's try to... Oh, do I have enough wood to make a chest? Yes. Terrific. We're going to make a chest to carry down to Willy. I don't have... Excuse me. There we go. I don't have enough energy to fish yet, but... We also haven't checked the uh, forest for spring onions, so we'll do that. Ah. Oh. oh, good. Okay. So, we have our fishing pole. I see a little bit more forage here on the beach. Okay, so these are regular looking, uh, Worms, so maybe the other worms indicate that it's going to be an artifact. Hmm. We say hello to Elliot. Uh, oh, okay. Vincent again. But here we have Jazz now. And Penny again. But we haven't met Sam yet. So I wonder what's going to happen tonight when we sleep. So Clint is, yeah, he's closed. I was going to buy a little piece of copper from him. Shane again. Now, does Jojo Mart close at 5? I never go in this place, so... Is there a way to say hello to, uh... No, yeah, I guess not. And I don't see anybody else here. Okay. What's this? What is this? Okay, so this is something new. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm excited to find out. <laughs> so I feel like that over there was a, like a new little area or something. I'm gonna... Where can I put this? I don't want to put it where anybody stands. Let me put some of this stuff in here. I'm going to eat a couple of spring onions. Ah, I'll get the other thing on the way home, I guess. 
Although, you know what? I do want to level up my foraging. So let me keep looking. Okay, let's uh, cast a few lines. Oh, can't get over there yet. Okay, I'm going to have to run home. Uh, do I have anything? I really don't want to pass out again. Uh, yeah, I'll run the back way. So yeah, I do have a mod. The mod that I regularly use um, is not supported for 1.6, so I had to install a new one. I don't know how well it'll work yet, but for those of you that have been watching me before, you know that I've talked about this before. I'm incapable of fishing, just absolutely incapable of fishing. So... I use a, a mod that makes fishing easy. Uh, carp, I don't think I need for anything. I'm just going to sell that. I'll sell one daffodil and one leek. And we're going to head to bed. And I wonder if tonight we're going to dream of anything. Oh, great. We've reached level one foraging, so I can start crafting field snacks if I get any seeds. Plus one axe proficiency and the wild seeds recipe. And we made 150 gold. Okay, it is day three and it's raining, as expected. Uh, fortune teller says... Spirits are in good humor today. We'll have a little extra luck. Okay, and the weather report says it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Okay, so we don't have to water. Um, so I mostly want to, what, fish today, right? I want to get catfish. And I wonder, wonder if I can get a silo yet. I mean, I have the money for it. Okay, never mind. I need copper bars for a silo. Let's say hello to our chicks. Oh, wow. We have eggs already. Fantastic. Let's see what that gives us. 100 gold. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. If you build a silo, you can start harvesting your own grass with the scythe and store it to feed your animals. That is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so let me throw the eggs in here. Now my... Um... My chest is up at the mountains. <laughs> you know, I really would like to make some pathing, just because I don't really know my way around yet. I'm going to stay at 14 because... I don't have a scarecrow yet. I'm going to run up to the uh, mountain and grab my chest. Just going to do a little fishing here before I pick it up.
Okay, so I forgot that I already had stuff in my chest. So I'm going to run home, empty out my inventory, and then uh, just go fish for the catfish without grabbing that chest. You know what, let me just check this in case I have something on me that... Catfish. One catfish, Evelyn. And I skipped that treasure because... Oops. Okay, it's just a broken CD. I skipped that treasure because um, I'm so bad at fishing that I can't even move up to grab the treasure chest. Before this game came out, uh, before this update came out, I tried to go in and play on my old save and learn how to fish. But even with my uh, iridium rod, and a high fishing level, a big green bar. I just, I could only manage to catch um, a few different kinds of fish, maybe a bream and the rainbow trout. So, yeah. I would like to be able to catch a catfish today with the mod so that I can give it to Evelyn. And it looks like it has a pretty nice reward amount. We'll see. I hope catfish is available all day. There's... There's that message again. That I've got some ideas to sleep on. It seems to be the driftwood that triggered that. Okay. Hate to walk away from a bubble spot. But I think that's going to have to do it for me. I'm going to run down and check for spring onions. I'm bummed that we didn't get any catfish. Okay, I don't think we need a, a shad or a chub. We might need a bream. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save one of each couple of the bream and uh, sell everything else. 11 spring onions, that's cool. Okay. And that's day three done. We leveled up our fishing. Great. And we made almost 900 bucks. Fantastic. Okay, weather report. It's clear and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller says, Spirits are in good humor today. We'll have a little extra luck. And living off the land... Check for spring onions southwest of town. Okay. All right, brand new day. We'll get to watering. Okay, let's go say hi to our chicks. You know what, just for uh, shipping purposes, I think I'll sell the uh, the white egg and the brown egg. Okay, um, let me just do a little bit more cleaning up here. If I have enough stone to make a decent amount of uh, pathways.
Okay, what am I doing today? I'd like to go foraging. I don't think we've met Haley yet. Oops. I'd love to find an artifact spot so we could go see Gunther. Oh, look at that. Nope, just stone. Hey, Elliot. I hardly ever see him. It's nice to see him, what, twice in four days. Oh my gosh, it's 6.30 p.m. already. Wow. If nobody's around... Oh, no, there's Penny. I'll say hi to her. But I do want to, like, kind of sneak some garbage hunting. Dumpster diving. So, tomorrow... Well, I'm used to tomorrow being a harvest day with, uh... Parsnips. I think maybe I have to wait one more day for... The potatoes. And what did I get? Only, like, four potatoes? I should buy more. Maybe tomorrow I'll go to Pierre and buy some more potatoes. Although, I will say the backpack is, uh, kind of crazy. How, how tough it is to not have room. So, maybe I'll do the backpack upgrade before anything else. I don't know. If I catch enough fish tonight, it would be nice to be able to get the backpack upgrade and some seeds. Okay, let's try some more fishing. Okay, did some fishing, didn't catch much. Gonna sell what I did catch, gonna sell everything else I can think of. And we're gonna head to bed. Seven hundred and eighty gold. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Please come back tomorrow. I'm going to have another extended episode. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.